Hey there, Waddles here, and welcome back to a strobe light party. <laughs> that wasn't intended. Welcome back to actually a base building video. That's right, these are returning. If you enjoyed them, you're probably excited, but the goal for today's video is to build a coral house all out of coral now my rules here are that i can use coral i can use dead coral now i am allowing myself some exceptions here like some glass maybe a door and stuff but the goal is to be mainly out of coral here and now for it to be considered a house i'm gonna need to put a chest a bed a crafting table a furnace and whatever order whatever i need to put that in there i'm gonna have air inside of the house too so the goal here is to just do coral and make it look cool now i've cleared out a little area here i don't think it needs to be huge but i want to worry about depth as usual right um which coral would look like a beam i think the purple one might be best as like a beam i think that would be kind of cool like that so that's what i'm thinking there now i'm gonna pick this uh brain coral i always forget the names excuse me for not using the actual names for the wall or at least for part of the wall what i want to do is a lower piece of the wall and then a higher piece of the wall so we'll do something like this right uh that is gray so it's like stone if you will and then we'll do these beams every once in a while doesn't need to be huge maybe we'll go one more section that's seven long i think so we'll go ahead and go seven again here and do some windows just like that that should be seven right one two three four five six seven yep that's seven so we'll do a corner right here now i'm not going to do a square house i don't like square buildings so we'll go ahead and go here and then we'll go say uh no windows on this one maybe we'll fill this in as well and go back i don't know maybe five is good that looks nice right mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna finish up the shell of the house and then we'll go ahead and come back and do some color okay so i'm thinking maybe like yellow or something in here for the color what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and go in here and do you know pretty much a bold line right like the paint is on the higher part of the build of course leaving room for windows and i went ahead and extended the height of this thing because i want more color on it than i want um like gray right so i'll do three rows of color i figured and then um the two of gray that i have down there now i am thinking about breaking out of the whole square shape of course i don't want to just have a rectangle house so we'll do something a little fancier hopefully on a second floor or something like that but it is kind of hard because we're not you know having slabs or something like that we're literally just having full blocks here to work with so the roof is going to be difficult i don't want to do a flat roof though i know that uh but i'm not too sure really what i'm planning to do for the roof i think a dome would be kind of cool to try out maybe some kind of glass colored dome could work but uh, again i want to use mostly coral on the outside here so i guess we'll have to see but here we go we have that all finished up there now i think some kind of arch might be kind of cool here on this build like that maybe maybe we want to bump it up one and do the arch up here just to kind of give the yellow a little bit more room and we'll do that on each and every side however this side is a little different so we'll do some different arches going on i think yeah that's gonna make something uh look a little cooler i think so we'll do two there and then arches all the way around of course because we love our arches now i'm gonna have to go ahead and expand the yellow bit the yellow is gonna have to go a little higher up because obviously you can see through right there so I'll go ahead and fix that up now, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I think it's definitely time for red. Red feels like a nice color to mix in here. However, I am working with these arches. I need to have, you know, kind of some definition and depth in terms of the arches and that kind of stuff. So what I'm thinking is that we have two little bits on the front of the build. I'm not worried about the backside, which is over there, um, that pop out, right? Like this, and maybe we do some windows on them. I'm not really as worried about the interior, but I can't neglect the inside of the house, of course. And then we're just going to have this kind of all be flat like that, and then... I mean, I guess I might as well copy the whole popping out thing. It's not that hard to do, of course. Um, I think it goes like that. Yep, just like that. I think red is the next best choice to go, though, here, because I think I want to do something with blue 
on the roof. That's why I'm skipping blue, of course. I think blue is my favorite coral one, though. I just like the color. But yeah, okay, so that's looking cool. Now, I'm going to need to fill in these holes so we can't see into our house, right? And then maybe this is where the blue... The blue could actually come in here, right? Like, what if we did a blue stripe and then these red things popping out are, are red, right? Yeah, that would be cool. That uses the color really well too i think like that mm. Mm -hmm. i like the blue uh oh i'm getting close to the surface though i didn't think this would be so big okay time for some roof work here to finish up the outside of the build now i don't want to get too much taller because i want to save room for the top of this build but what i'm gonna do is create a little ledge that pops out here and basically do half of this building as a flat roof and then maybe half if i can pull it off as a curved little dome area now what i'm thinking is that this could go in like uh like that and then we might be able to pop this out and just kind of go flat across there now, what I want to do is blue glass, in specific the light blue, because I think it looks nice, and figure something out here. So, if we went like this, or if we went like, uh, ooh, this is going to be hard. So, if I create a circle, right, that's what I'm trying to do here, like that, and then maybe, ooh, I guess we'll just have to kind of cut into this. That's not that big of a deal. Um... Yeah, it's just a matter of making a circle, I think. So if we went two, then if we went out like that, and I can just adjust this side of the build because I intentionally, you know, kind of left it flat like that. That would work perfectly fine to compensate for the circle that I'm going to need to put in here. Uh, but there we go. Okay, I fixed it, and I'm just going to have to, you know, kind of cut into this half of the shape or whatever to do it right. Or maybe I just go all five. Ooh, yikes 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 that's gonna be a little weird there hmm hmm i think it'll work though i think we can work with it so i'm just gonna go ahead and make a dome now which actually i have mastered the art of making a dome i've kind of figured it out i think uh but there we go like that and then this continues around in a pattern or it would continue around in a pattern just like this I don't know what I'm going to end up doing about the front, though. That's an odd little part for me to work with here. Like, it just kind of looks weird over there. Maybe it won't be as big of a deal, as, like, after I get the whole build done. Excuse me. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm just going to have to hope for that. That's all I can do. So, the dome making got a little messed up. It's not a perfect dome, of course, right here. That's not fully correct. I think it's almost right, though. And it looks fine to me. Now, I went ahead and made this half look a little like a castle. What I want to do now is pick a stained glass color that pops. And I think orange is what pops because orange will match the door. And I'm going to go ahead and just do full blocks. Now, typically, I would do panes, right? But if I did panes, I would have the water issues. And I'd either have to put water in the pane block and water would spill inside or something like that. So I think orange just, you know, um, glass blocks like I'm doing will do fine i guess that's just on the front i didn't realize that now what it's going to be time to do is go ahead and drain the interior and get ready to throw a door on this build so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and do that i think that will stop water from coming in i might be completely wrong in fact i probably am completely wrong so we'll just go ahead and do that there and now it's time for me to go up here and slowly drain this thing or maybe fastly i guess we'll find out i don't think it's going to be very good though because i'm no good at draining things i know there's a method to it but i am kind of impatient <laughs> now my decorations have to go unfortunately okay so this is kind of cool um coral dies when it's not touching water and it died in the shape of the arches so i think i'm gonna actually try and work with that and use that uh, somehow in this build but i want to put my door in i think i can actually maybe do a trap door maybe we could do a trap door might be kind of cool um oh i guess we'd have to do that right uh, we might as well just do a normal door at that point just like that there we go uh oh uh oh uh oh it's gonna get dark now the floor cannot be coral because it'll die 
it just like um that like it's dead now so i'm gonna have to do probably just some basic type of wood in here maybe we'll go ahead and do like this birch uh you know um what do you call it uh stripped logs here because that kind of matches the sand floor and i think it would look cool now of course i could go ahead and do water underneath the floor but i don't know if i want to do a pink floor i will have to use pink in the build somehow but i think this is going to look a little better and it might fit the theme a little bit more I've got it. I think I could make a pink little ledge around the top here because uh, the more I look at the build, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a second story very well in here. So if I make this little pink ledge and just make it a ledge, you know, like a, nothing is up here, I think that might work a little better than trying to actually throw a second story in on this build. I've never used acacia wood so much, but I like the color for the big explosion of color in this build that I'm going for. So maybe we use acacia and make some beams going in here. Now, I know I said, you know, we're trying to use just coral, but we're limited in terms of options once we get inside of here because of the lack of water. We can't have no water and still have coral alive, unfortunately. So I think the whole acacia beams work well in here but we're just about done with the build i won't be going ahead and doing too too much more other than this detailing that i'm doing in here and then of course getting our functionality stuff in here Okay, it's time for a house tour. So I've set up some gardens out front and then got lights all the way around the house so it's a little brighter now. And then if we swing on inside, we have a mainly finished interior. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it for a water base. This is pretty cool. We've got our bed, we've got the crafting table, some chests, and then right behind me, the furnace. So it's all set up in terms of a small little survival base. Now the second floor just holds pretty much nothing. It's all kind of for looks there. Then if we go ahead and break out into the sky, I will show you an aerial shot of the house. I actually haven't seen it from above the water either yet, so kind of curious here. That's cool looking down into there. And then from going over to here, that is pretty, pretty cool looking. I really like the house. Imagine swimming up to that. But that is a coral house. So what do you think? Do you like the coral house? If you haven't seen part one, I guess, or part two, or, you know, the previous episodes in the series, if we call it the base building stuff, go check that out. I have a video making an iceberg one and a shipwreck one, which is kind of cool. But leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell me what you want to see me make a base out of or in next. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.